Welcome to Barron Public Library's Friday Read Aloud. This special book starts the celebration of National Poetry Month. Please Bury Me in the Library by J. Patrick Lewis, illustrated by Kyle M. Stone. What if books had different names? What if books had different names? Like Alice in Underland? Furious George? Good Night Noon? Babar the Beaver and A Visit from St. Nicholas? Or Winnie the Pooh, Pooh Poohs? The Walrus and the Carp and Her? The Emperor Has No Clues? Or Mary Had a Little Clam? And how about Green Eggs and Spam? Well, surely you can think of one. Oh, what extraordinary, merry, huckleberry fun! Bleeding Fame did you ever hear of the tiny book by the famous Otto the Flea? A fly by night who dared to write his autobiography. Necessary Gardens Libraries are necessary gardens, unsurpassed at growing excitement. Eating Alphabet Soup My advice to the tablespoon slurper Beware what you do with that scoop. The capitals, sir, can cause quite a stir in a bowl full of alphabet soup. While K, Z, and B do the backstroke across this hot, steamy lagoon, the fun-loving vowels may want tiny towels to dry themselves off on the spoon. But when letters go swimming together and sentences nothing can beat, the pleasure of reading the food that you're eating so dive in, and bon appetit. Great, good, bad. A great book is a homing device for navigating paradise. A good book somehow makes you care about the comfort of a chair. A bad book owes to many trees a forest of apologies. Please bury me in the library. Please bury me in the library in the clean, well-lighted stacks of novels, history, poetry, right next to the paperbacks, where the kids' books dance with true romance and the dictionary dozes, please bury me in the library with a dozen long-stemmed proses. Way back by a rack of magazines, I won't be sad too often if they bury me in the library with bookworms in my coffin. A classic. A children's book is a classic if at six, excitedly, you read it to another kid who just turned 63. The Big Word Girl. Of all the clever girls I know, Elaine's the one who counts. But what she counts are syllables and words I can't pronounce. I took her to a horror show, Godzilla Meets Tooth Fairy, but she could not unglue her eyes from Webster's Dictionary. She put her trembling hand in mine, Godzilla smashed the floor, for she had come across a word she'd never seen before. But when the lights came on, Elaine was sound asleep and snoring. I woke her up, she yawned and said, how uncustomarily, extraordinarily, incomprehensibly boring. Reading in the Dark I and Lantern I, my book mad mate, stay up late rereading The Field Mouse's Guide to Midnight, blinking back the we wander of footprints, mouse holes, and underground maps. You know, I hoot to Lantern I, books are loaded traps. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Higgly, piggly, I read a children's book filled with a million and twenty-six birds. Faster and faster and faster I read it, because they forgot to put in any words. Three haiku. Difficult writing. Assignment, the story of. My life, a haiku. Epitaph for a devoted, lifelong reader. Thank you for the plot. Late at night, reading. Frankenstein, and suddenly, pain in the neck. Summer reading at the beach. 
Some lay novels on their navels. Some hold comics in their fists. Some build castles with book shovels from the Times bestseller lists. Some folks read beside the ocean. Some folks read along the coast. Some folks rub on some tan lotion. Some folks who forgot are toast. Conversation on a Leaf As I was reading Caterpillar's Fascinating Fauna, I came across a conversation in a story on a butterfly who saw her woolly, fifty-legged relation and wondered, what's becoming of the younger generation? The caterpillar curly cued to get a better view. Why, mother dear, he said, I'm becoming just like you. Are you a book person? A good book is a kind of person with a mind of her own, who lives alone, standing on a shelf by herself. She has a spine, a heart, a soul, and a goal to capture, to amuse, to light a fire. You're the fuse. Or else, joyfully, just to be, from beginning to end. Need a friend? Absolute Tastical. Paint me a picture book, parrot. Honey me poetry, bee. Hush me a lullaby, owl. Bookmark me, flea. Paint me and honey me, hush me right into an absolute testicle night. Riddle me riddles, anteater. Pop me a pop-up snail. Knit me a mystery, black widow. Read deeply, whale. Riddle me, pop me, and knit me soon over the absolute testicle moon. Wonder me myth, snow leopard. Roar me adventures, black bear. Leap me a legend, jaguar. Look lively, mare. Wonder me, roar me, and leap me high into the absolute testicle sky. Thank you for listening to this wonderful book. What was your favorite poem? What would you write about books? Sharing poetry is a great way to connect with people and spread joy around the world. I hope you take a few minutes to share a poem with a librarian or someone special in your life. Until next time, this is Miss Amanda. Be sure to enjoy the magic of books and keep reading.